introducing first, being accompanied to ringside by Sleazy and Sparse. He weighs at 236 pounds, fighting out of Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Here is all ego, Ethan Page. And his opponent, he weighs at 185 pounds, fighting out of zone four. He is the CZ. Kelly, we got a big first time ever match between two of the hottest guys in AIW right now. Paglia what? Paglia Kelly, like the bow tie pasta. I'll take it, I do like some bow tie pasta. AR Fox coming off that huge win in that 30 minute Iron Man rematch against ACH. Yeah, and just on a total, so talking about that match itself, the athleticism he showed, the athleticism ACH showed, that was hands down one of the greatest matches I've seen in a very long time. Yeah, I had the pleasure of being able to call that, of course, that video along with all of the other AIW shows available on Smartmark Video and Smartmark Video, smvod.com. That's a Smartmark Video on demand. You don't even wait for shipping. No, that on, fool not to pursue it. that on demand service is very spectacular and it comes in handy. Don't forget you can also find stuff at AIWrestling.com. Yeah, and I mean, if you're watching this match right now, you need to check out both the AR Fox's Iron Man matches with ACH. Of course, at the conclusion of this contest, of that contest, the fans chanting for 60 minutes. That's something we will see down the line, but right now AR Fox needs to focus on the task at hand, and that is defeating Ethan Page. And Ethan Page, a fast rising star in the world of professional wrestling. And I ask you about Ethan Page. He's all ego, it rubs people the wrong way, some people like the cockiness, how do you view it? You know, this is actually, believe it or not, my first time seeing Ethan Page compete since the Chikara Young Lions Cup four years ago, five years really? ago. Really? So I don't know how much he's developed as a competitor, but I will tell you this, everywhere I go, when people ask me about AIW, they always ask about Ethan Page. This guy is one of the most buzzworthy competitors that we have seen come through AIW in some time. I'm proud sitting next to you, I'm excited about it because everyone I'm around here with Aaron Bauer, he's always talking about the sleazy one, roaming the outside. I mean, I like to call the action of the ring. If we're gonna be I calling that pal, let me know. I appreciate it. Try to be as professional as possible. Easier said than done. Easy on the eyes. Very easy on the eyes. And right now, AR Fox making the beginning of this match look very easy for himself. And it's just the athleticism he has. Well, you know, it, it would be foolish not to talk about her, though, because there is a possibility that she could interject herself in this contest for Ethan Page's benefit at some point. And hopefully that's something that the official is gonna be looking out for, and hopefully that's something that AR Fox is scouting. Yeah, we've, we've seen that number of times. You go back to a match that we just recently had here at AIW against Colin Delaney. She throws liquor into Colin Delaney, a, a guy who is getting off the booze and throws it in his face, leading to an Ethan Page win. You never know the trickery that she's gonna go down to to help Ethan Page, her man, getting a victory. And a big victory it would be if he's able to beat AR Fox. Yeah, unfortunately that wasn't a match that I got to see in person at the last event. So certainly looking oh. forward to seeing the exchanges like that. AR Fox able to stop Ethan oh. Page in his tracks with a drop kick and knock him right off the apron. His athleticism is teeth rattling. AR Fox has hops out of this world. And Fox Jeez. just leaping straight over the top rope. I mean, that's oh. going to be a, a, a standing vertical leap of over six feet. Easily over six feet, and if you're Sleazy of Sparks, is she looking the other way right now? And her eye might be getting caught right now by AR Fox. Looks like he's gonna fly again. Fox ain't done, but able to oh. catch himself on the ropes as Ethan Page moves out of the way and catch him with that kickflip moonsault. Looked like he caught him with the knees towards the back of the head, maybe the shoulder. Potential knockout blow by AR Fox is gonna have to get his opponent back in the ring if he wants to get that one, two, three. And you know that Fox isn't the type of competitor that's gonna be content getting that count on victory. We saw that he almost picked up a fall against ACH at the last AIW event, and he decided no, he wanted to bring it back into the ring. Yeah, and in a match like this, we're talking about AR Fox, talking about Ethan Page. Ethan Page, I don't think, has ever faced an athlete one-on-one -on -one in that squared circle that has the pedigree of an AR Fox. I mean, both of these guys moving up the ranks. Oh, look. What happened over there? 
Alicia Sparks did get herself physically involved. She shouldn't be doing that. No, she shouldn't. It still hasn't helped out Ethan Page until just then. Well, the distraction provided to be handy. Oh, oh and look at that innovative backbreaker. This could do it right here. Only good for a two count. I would have been very shocked if AR Fox's shoulders would have been down for the three. I mean, both of these guys moving up the ranks in AEW. You're yeah. going to think that perhaps a, a victory in this match could move either one of these guys into contention for Tim Dunn's AEW world title. Yeah, and Ethan Page, the guy who's been skyrocketing. And again, we see Sparks on the outside paying dividends. You know, I don't even know why she helps Ethan Page. Ethan Page seems like he could care less whether or not Unbelievable. he comes to the shows. You know, I'm glad you finally, I'm glad that I have someone who has the same common sense as I do. Another near fall, but you take a look at her, he treats her like crap, it, throws her to the side. To him, it almost seems like it, it, it's a business relationship, but I mean, from her perspective, it Ooh. seems like the two are romantically linked. I can't, you know, I've seen the interviews that have been posted online. Oh! High elevation on the elbow drop. Ethan Page going for a pin. Wow! That was a close call. Yeah, Ethan Page trying to tell Jake Clemens to get to a three count. Is, he's now just going to try to hold down and wear down AR Fox with a headlock. But you go back to Miss Sparks on the outside. It almost seems that she's like a toy to Ethan Page. She's just there because... He knows he can just do whatever he wants. But, but with it doesn't her. seem like the, the feeling is mutual. Oh, absolutely not. Him. Absolutely. She, she, she worships, worships the very ground that he walks on. I can't wait for the day that young lady opens those beautiful eyes and sees truly what all ego Ethan Page is all about. Yeah, but I mean, he gets results. He picks up wins. I mean, you can't really fault him for being attracted to that. Sorry. No, you know, he oozes confidence, and right now, he is just in firm control of AR Fox. Bring him down at a higher angle. But, you know, he made a mistake there because he folded up A.R. Fox too much, and as a result, A.R. Fox was more easily able to kick out of that hold. It was almost as though Ethan Page had pulled A.R. Fox's body weight with too much momentum. Yeah, and that goes back to what we mentioned a little bit earlier in this contest. He's never faced someone with the athleticism, the pedigree of A.R. Fox. And A.R. Fox, if you just give him that sliver of hope, if you give him a little bit of gleam, he's going to take full advantage of it, almost stole a victory from Ethan Page. Yeah, Ethan Page was quick to recover from that mistake, but then he spent so much time addressing the fans here. I don't know if that was in his best interest. And there you see A.R. Fox countering what I assume was going to be another release suplex attempt. Trying to hold on with that waist lock, but how many more of these shots can he eat? Whoa! Look at the agility out of Fox! Connected with that back brain kick, and Ethan Page having to retreat to the corner. Yeah, he's on Dream Street, and he might want to wake up. Fox running to that boot. So far, very evenly contested contest. Oh! Fox able to catch him with that cutter. But unfortunately, not able to capitalize. He might be spent. I mean, everybody coming from the East Coast today with a very grueling schedule. We've seen how it's had an effect on the performances. And even somebody who, who spends as much time in the gym, who is always constantly working on improving his cardio as AR Fox, he seems to be gassed a little bit earlier than he would be at this point normally in a contest. Yeah, but you can tell the true competitor, the fighter, the combatant that he is because he is not giving up. He is still going to work, and he is really giving all ego, Ethan Page, everything and more here at our AIW show in Cleveland, Ohio. And that flipping headbutt, we've seen AR Fox adding more and more maneuvers like that. Pulling him out of his bag of tricks, and now looking to finish this combination, perhaps with one of the prettiest swanton bombs in red. Oh. Absolutely fearless, and I think that Fox has this match won. The leg is hooked once again. Wow. For Ethan Page to kick out of what you just called one of the most beautiful uh, swan times, I mean, which is true, it's true. You can, you can describe Silesia Sparks the same way. Ethan Page is showing me tonight his resiliency in this match. Fox looks like he's gonna be going for it again. Oh, instead going for the 450, Woo. landing on his feet. Oh. How's he able to control his body like that? I don't know, but Ethan Page right now showing his strength, his power, and his athleticism, he's just throwing. Oh. Fox around. Instead, hook in the head. More impact could have been the knockout blow. Wow. E if Ethan Page would have won that ma this match with that move, that would have put Ethan Page on the map. He is so close, he can taste it right now. I can certainly see why this is one of the most talked about guys on the AIW roster. I mean, it's no easy feat going toe to toe with AR Fox. But so far, he's been able to take anything that's been thrown at him and dish it out. Even I have to say, I am impressed by Ethan Page tonight. Oh! Was going to be going for that Urinagi instead. Fox holding on, able to find a counter. 
Fox taking too much time. He telegraphed that, but perhaps he was just trying to lure Ethan Page in. You know, this is first time ever, but I'm already gearing up for a possible rematch. This one's not even over yet. Fox again, so quick stringing together these maneuvers. And now they've taken a page out of Shima's book with that Meteora, the knees to the chest, and that's gonna do it. Oh, come on! Ethan Page is answering the bell. He's answering some critics like me who thought he was all ego, no heart, could talk a big game, but couldn't come in and actually prove himself against the caliber athlete like A.R. Fox, but he is right now, as he just shoves A.R. Fox into the ring, he is proving me wrong. A.R. Fox, you could think he was gonna be looking for that low main rain. Now go for that cutter. Oh! Is that it? Two, three, oh! It does not get much closer than that. Ethan Page, AR Fox, I don't know how they feel. I know you've had a busy day today. I'm worn out. Yeah, we're just watching and calling the action, never mind being in the ring actually competing at the caliber that these two individuals are. It's Ethan good. Page once again looking for that Sambo suplex, that Uranagi. You know, the edge right now, though, has to go to AR Fox. Let's talk about the contest he's had here in AIW, the 30-minute Ironman match with ACH, which we have highlighted. That has to be helping him right now going up against Ethan Page because they're not even knocking on 30 minutes, but their bodies feel like they've probably gone through a 60-minute match. But then again, like you said, you know, we've seen AR Fox able to perform in that atmosphere. We haven't seen that out of Ethan Page. Oh, he that just got... bad spill. He just got folded like an accordion. And the referee needs to step in and check on AR Fox. Ethan Page looking to take full advantage Oh! Look at the angle in which the foot connected with the back of the head. If that's not a knockout blow, I don't know what is. Oh, come on, you're gonna be shitting me. Enough's enough. I about dropped my microphone. I, for the life of me right now, cannot understand how AR Fox is still moving. He has taken everything from All Ego Ethan Page. All Ego has taken everything from AR Fox and something has got to give. It looks like Sparks and Paige are communicating right there. That little Jezebel. I mean, perhaps, perhaps Paige is starting to get a little bit frustrated. You're trying to resort to plan B. Who only knows what schemes these two can cut oh. back. If she gets so, and Ethan Page, after taking that modified cutter, rolls the outside. Well, you know what? Normally, it's a smart move to go to the outside so you can get that separation, but not against a competitor like AR Fox because he's going to be looking to nail maneuvers like that. Come on! Oh. And that brings an ovation from a jam-packed crowd here at Turner's Hall. And I'll be damned, I've never seen anything like that. How many guys are willing to put their body on the line the way that AR Fox is? I'm not. I sure as hell know Aaron Bauer's not. And he's not done. He could have rolled him into the ring and gone for the pin. But nope. he senses that Morris oh. necessary. Connected with the 450, and that's going to do it. Whoa! I'm beside myself. Ethan Page somehow. Gets that left shoulder just enough off the mat. Jake Lemons does not count the three. And A.R. Fox, he's gonna have to pull out all the stops, maybe something none of us has ever seen before. I think that A.R. Fox would be a strong candidate for the 2012 uh -oh. Wrestler of the Year. And there's the wild card. And up until this point, I would have said that Ethan Page has proved a lot, but come on! Don't do it, A.R. Fox. Oh, I thought he was gonna jump on her. I mean, you don't think that he would be well within his rights to do so? He's a gentleman, though. He's a gentleman and a scholar, and I don't think he would want to put his hands. Well, that wasn't very gentlemanly from Ethan Page. No. A, a, a no. That was obvious to everybody. The spinning twin. Jake Clemens. Jake Clemens. Oh, my. The spinning twin. All ego Ethan Page has just stolen a victory. Yeah. But you know what?